Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey, Lindmar, it's Monday, May 20th, 2019. National Rescue a Dog Day. Here's what's going on today across the campus. Our top story, our girls and boys track teams were pretty impressive at state. LMTV's Audrey has the details. Audrey? Thanks, Kale. Both the boys and girls track teams ended up in the top 10. It was the best performance of any team in the metro area. The girls came in fifth overall. Jill Bennett came in fourth in the 100 and 200. Michael Paulette came in fourth in the 1500. And our girls took 7th in the 400 relay and 4th in the 1600 relay. For the guys, we took 10th, the best team in the corridor. Trent Davis came in first of the 110 hurdles. We were 3rd in the shuttle relay. Congratulations boys and girls track on a very exciting season. Kale, back to you. Thanks Audrey. Mr. Meeker could still use a couple more volunteers to help with the 5th grade heart dissection. It's tomorrow morning from 8.15 to 9.45 at Wilkins Elementary. See Mr. Meeker in room G141 to sign up. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Welcome back. We've got a Senior News Center update. Seniors, you have three big things on your to-do list. Get the signatures on the graduate checklist form. They must be done by Wednesday at 1 p.m. Make sure you've picked up and completed the transportation consent form if you're participating in Senior Volunteer Day. They're available outside the 1112 office. And sign up for the Senior Walk through your elementary school. Check your student email or stop by the 1112 office for more information. And that's a look at our top news stories at this hour. Today in Lindmar Sports, Varsity Girls Golf is in Marshalltown for the regional meet at the American Legion Golf Course. Varsity Boys Soccer competes at Substate. They travel to the Quad Cities to play Davenport Central at Brady Street Stadium tonight at 5. Team dismissed at 2.10. Tonight at 7, Varsity Baseball faces Jefferson in the Metro Tournament at Oak Ridge. On the scoreboard, Boys Tennis beat Dubuque Hempstead in the Class 2A Substate Final 5-0. In other sports news, any guys planning to go out for cross country in the fall, come to a meeting tomorrow morning at 8 in the lecture hall. That's Sports Kale, back to you. Thanks, Audrey. And news from the counselors, are you looking for a summer job or just looking for a job in general? Don't forget to check out the jobs board located directly across from the main office. New jobs come in and are posted weekly, so check it out. Now here's Leo with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, FFA members, check your school email for the banquet information. The chapter banquet is tonight at 6.30 in the food court. Please wear official dress. Questions? See Ms. Lemmer. If you were involved in contest speech this year or are interested in it for next year, contact Mrs. Fry, Ollie Cress, or Nate Harris before you leave for the summer. That's Arts and Clubs. Back to you. Thanks, Leah. Hey, Audrey, what's for lunch today? Well, Kale, for lunch downstairs today, it's a beef taco or the hamburger bar. Upstairs in the food court, it's walking tacos. That's lunch, Kale. Back to you. Thank you, Audrey. Your LMTV forecast calls for a high of 61 today with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we'll see rain throughout the day with a high of 56, and Wednesday looks partly cloudy with a high of 73. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Limar website or follow us on Twitter. On behalf of the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow, and as always, make it a great day, Limar. <laughs>